Good evening traders. This is Taylor from the tradinganalyst.com. I'm going to go over a few charts and stocks that are in the Dow Jones 30 and the idea is to just give you a, an idea of uh, where the market in general is headed and potentially give you some individual uh, trade ideas on these specific individual names and uh, just to give you a learning experience and hopefully you'll learn a thing or two. Uh, but first, if you're not already a member, go ahead and visit the home page of the website, www.thetradinganalyst.com, and you can get to know us a little bit better. And if you scroll through the website, you can see the services that you'll receive once you sign up for membership. You can also scroll down a little bit further and see what our current members are saying about the membership. And all the way at the bottom, if you like what you see, then you can sign up for either the monthly access or the lifetime access. The choice is yours. If you have any questions about the membership, please feel free to reach out to me. All right, so let's get out in front of these charts. First thing I want to look out here is the uh, trend line that we broke over here on Apple. You can see that it was held down. This is actually a trend line on the weekly time frame. I'll switch to that really quickly so you can see it. Okay, so this is the weekly trend line that was holding us down. As you can see, weeks tried to close over it but could not close over it. Here we are. Here we are. This was the first week to close over that trend line significantly. So we do have a break um, to the upside on the weekly time frame. So let's go back to the daily time frame here on Apple. And here we are. We broke over the 200-day moving average significantly. Really the first time that we've done that uh, since, you know, over here. We tried to break over it here, tried to break over it here, uh, but couldn't quite do it. So this is the first time we've done that uh, right here. Had a successful test right here at 106. You can see that we had a little bit of a pause down here. And this is a nice entry right there if you got that right around 106. I believe that will continue higher, definitely in the long run. As support, we've got this uptrend line as support, as well as the 200-day moving average, as well as this 106 support. As you can see, it was resistance here, 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 and then we've got support from it right here. So definitely think in the long run, Apple is going to be heading higher, uh, and then we'll break these highs and most likely head into uh, the 120 range or so in the next a uh, few weeks or a few months, uh, what have you. Next, let's cover AXP. And AXP, uh, we did just break over the 200-day moving average. We broke over this downtrend line. As you can see, it was resistance here, 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 and then we're holding over it right now. So another thing you want to look at right here, we're in a really tight range. So you want to look for a break either over 64.40 uh, or over about uh, $66. If one of those levels is broken, we should see a nice big move. As you can see, we've been trading kind of sideways for about a month or so. And a break outside of that tight range should see a nice big move. So definitely a significant area right here, about just below $67, about $66. About 60 as you can see it was resistance here and here and then a couple of candles right here where that's resistance if we break over that i think we can see some pretty nice upside on axp next let's take a look at boeing and boeing we are below some pretty major resistance here at about 137 there's a touch there's a touch there's a touch lots of rejections at this level okay on the other side we are right at a pretty big support as well. As you can see, this volume by price bar right here, the low right there is right where we bounced from on Thursday's action. That's right where we hammered. We also hammered off of this trend line retest. So here was that rejection, 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 rejection. Here's another rejection, another rejection. Finally, we broke over it right here. And as you can see, we retested it several times since breaking over it here, here, and here as well. So that's why it's a good idea to draw these trend lines 
and extend those lines after we've already been uh, broken over those lines because they can definitely come into play um, in the future. So we've got that support and then that resistance up here still at about 137. And then we've got another downtrend line up here. We've got this, those highs getting rejected, those highs, lots of highs getting rejected. And that's going to match up perfectly with this, about this 137 area. If we can break over this level, we should see a very nice breakout for Boeing. Next, let's take a look at CAT and CAT. We had some resistance here at about 78.50, 78.50 right here, broke over it right here, came back, retested it. So now this is going to be support still. And then we've got this uptrend line that's going to act as support as well from here, touch here, and then that matches up well with this support right there. We've got resistance right here at about 84.75. And then a little bit above us at about $89. $89 is going to be that last big resistance. As you can see, the volume by price bars drop off significantly over here. You can see these thicker volume by price bars right here, right here, okay? And then they drop off over here. It means there's not a lot of resistance above that $89 level. Next, let's take a look at CSCO. Nice breakout here overall. We've got a breakout over this resistance. Lots of resistance. Okay, and then we broke over that. Came back down. This is a nice retest if you didn't get that initial breakout. And then we're heading higher since then. So that's going to be support. And I'll look at the weekly time frame. And then the resistance above us is going to be right around... 33.50 so pretty much all clear until about 33.50 for CSCO. Next let's take a look at and I'm going to go back to the daily time frame here for CVX and CVX we're at a point of uh, a lot of resistance here you can see over here a lot of sideways trading action you can see how big the volume by price bars are over here. So there's quite a bit of resistance in this area. Uh, we're still above this 98.50 level. That's going to be the level that I really want to see uh, the bulls hold on the bull side. As you can see, it was resistance right here, right here, and then we broke over it. And you can see how many times we've tested it as support. Lots of support here, 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 here and then almost a touch right there. And that lines up perfectly with this support line, I'm sorry, this trend line as well, which is gonna be right there, as well as the 200 day moving average is not far below. So this is gonna be a key, key level for CVX that you wanna keep an eye on. If we break below that, it could be risk for seeing some downside. You really wanna see this level hold. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it as always. Again, if you're not already a member, Go ahead and visit the bottom of the home page. And if you're satisfied and you like what you're seeing in these videos, go ahead and sign up. If you got any questions, go ahead and ask me. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.